Hi everyone, Simon here. Solomon's Tales, we're carrying on. Left you on a cliffhanger, I'm sorry about that. Let's jump straight into it. Solomon, final. Belgium, German, Austrian, Swedish guy, whatever he is. Solomon is 2-1 up, I think I left it. And Solomon's just made a great break. But a ball hasn't gone down. Guy comes to the table. And he makes a really silly shot. Doesn't work. He was trying to be clever. Solomon spots this. What has this guy done? Why was he like, took that shot? Solomon clears the table. He wins. 3-1. Bang. Beats the guy. Easily. And he's just won 44,000 baht. Frozen, jumping up and down. Ning, jumping up and down. This foreign guy, not jumping up and down. But he still won about 10,000 battles or something. Anyway, the guy comes across Solomon. Shakes his hand. And says, Fair play, you beat me. He says, I have a bar. Uh, I'm a part owner in Naklua Road. The other side of Dolphin Roundabout. About 100 metres up. German bar got a table come on I'm here three months and then go home three months and come back he said come up one day afternoon and we'll have a good old match and I have my revenge on you we're not play for money just for fun and beer someone was like perfect absolutely and someone has won it's it quite a few people were watching and patted Solomon on the back and uh, the girls are loving it the attention gets money go out over the next couple of weeks Solomon doesn't win a thing but anyway we'll get to that leaves food girls yeah just down the road just past the Atlantic bar there's some food they walk down there in they go Thai food and uh, Solomon pulls out 4,000 baht for Frozen. There you go, there's your cut. She's like, thank you very much. Now, she says to Solomon, uh, I have problem, my boyfriend in Bangkok has spent his money, he's not paid his rent, I've got to bail him out, I haven't got enough, I've paid my rent, his rent 6,000 baht, I've got to go to Bangkok and help him out. I'm going away for a few days, but I haven't got enough. Will you lend me another 4,000 baht, please? Mm. Oh. Never lend money to friends. Give them money as a friend. Never lend money. It becomes a problem. You lend a Thai girl some money. You then feel awkward asking it for back when she doesn't give it your back and it causes problems and friendships end. Solomon knows this and says to Frozen, um, I'll help you this time, but I'm not lending you any money, ever. I'll give you 4,000 baht extra. So you've got six for him and a couple for traveling, but I'm not lending you money ever, okay? I'll give you this because you're a good friend and you've helped me and will help me lots in the future. And he gives her another 4,000 baht. Ning's there watching and smiling. And uh, Frozen's like, thank you. She finishes her food, leans over, gives him a kiss on the cheek. I'm going to Bangkok, sort my boyfriend out. A lot of Thai girls don't talk about their Thai boyfriends, but Frozen, honest with uh, Solomon off she goes oh well. so he knows she says to him you've got a few contests over the next few weeks so Ning's gonna have to be his wing girl maybe or maybe not and he's on his own anyway Ning's like off goes frozen Ning says to Solomon that's really nice of you and Solomon says yeah but she's a good friend and she's help I'd help you the same if you needed it and she said, yeah, I know, but I have money I don't need. She said, you've done well tonight. Um, 
you know, again, let's celebrate. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Now, with these um, Solomon stories, memory, information, it's getting patchy. It's hard to remember all the different stages. There's been so many of them now. But I am going to start slowing them down a bit now. We're only going to put one out. I'm going to put one Solomon a week out and one moving video a week, guys. So, just so you know, as I'm moving towards Thailand in the next 20 weeks, I'm going to have to slow the videos down to give myself time to do all these other things. So they are slowing down. But he's what's he been there now? I don't even remember, my memory's going on that. He's, we've talked. He's been there three months now. So he's got another month, and he will have to leave to get a new visa. He's won this money. Okay, he's now got about 36,000 baht. Uh, yeah, 36,000 baht. Is that enough to go away for a trip? He wants to do Vietnam. He wants to do South of Thailand. He also wants, well, he wants to all of it. He wants to go Lao. And he's thinking of the work in the back of his head all the time. Um, so, he's got to start thinking about the trip and his plan will be the next trip he's going to go south he's going to go to the Malaysian border and go over there by Hat Yai so there's a trip coming up for Solomon Hat Yai interesting trip but that will be flying down from Bangkok to Hat Yai and then going across the border by taxi and foot so no point in asking Ning to do a motorcycle trip. It'd be a great trip to ride from Patea around to Bangkok and then all the way down the country. Amazing trip, but it's all main road, so on a bike it could be a bit dodgy. Unless you had some really good big bikes. Um, not so much sports bikes because of the comfort, but big touring bikes. Hmm, maybe the future. So Ning's happy. She says, you're going off to get drunk anyway, see her friends. Solomon's like, I'm not tonight, I'm just going to, early night. Um, I'm going to go down, maybe have one drink at the bar by the room and then hit the room. And Ning's like, okay, finishes up, off she goes. Solomon heads down. He almost gets down soy four and he's thinking, go to the bar at the front there and have a drink or maybe you just go up into the soapy massage, get a drink, whoever's there, and then retire early. Um, now, Ning's room is next door, block next door. Everyone knows everyone around there. <laughs> There's that girl in the soapy massage that pinches his backside and keeps winking at him. That could be trouble. Because it's not really one of it. No, Ning probably knows her. And Ning's not his girlfriend, but she's controlling his his love life. Um, that could be a problem. I'd be careful there. But as this new seem uh, fate thing steps in, whatever you want to call it, he's being Ninged. <laughs> he's coming down soy for, um, and right next to the. The block where Ning lives, there's some girls outside, there's a little street vendor selling some dried squid or something. And these girls spot Solomon. The one girl, the red hair, she's there. That's the girl that stayed the night, remember? She comes over and starts talking and sort of grabs his arm and pulls him over to the food vendor as if to say, pay for our food. And he's like, well... Well, you know, you had aerobic session the other night, no money changed hands, pay for our food. And he's like, ah, oh, he's got caught there. 60 baht or something. Okay. But these other two girls, he's not met. Um, one of them was from Udon Thani. Um, I think her name was M. And a uh, very pretty girl. Very pretty. Again, like the girl with the red hair. A slightly shapely girl. 
and there's this other girl who's tall who works in a go-go bar in Walking Street um, as a dancer no idea her name very attractive anyway they uh, they got their food and right next to the road it's a bit of a some steps and a plastic table and some chairs like a patio table and chairs they drag Solomon over there and they sit down offer him some of this he's like oh, I don't he's in that stuff um, and lo and behold round the corner comes another street vendor chicken barbecue chicken oh Solomon jumps straight there grab some barbecue chicken he's just had food with Ning and frozen but pff, you just keep eating in Thailand and you grab some of that chicken sit to the plastic table uh, from nowhere appears a bottle of whiskey a little bottle of whiskey half a litre or whatever it is and usually a silver tub um, like an ice bucket with ice in and soda water they get the whiskey tip it in mix it all up put straws in and all this happens in the bars but this is quite you know but one of these appear whiskey Solomon doesn't drink whiskey he's like yeah no forget it now there is no 7-eleven down at the bottom by uh, Solomon's room and those couple of bars it's right back up on the top on second road and red hair what name did we give her I've forgotten I can't remember her name. Ah. Anyway, red hair says, want beer, beer. And Solomon says, I, I, yeah, I'd like, you know, a sing, singer. Um, or anything, but no shop, not have room. And she's like, give me 100 baht. Okay, gives her 100 baht. She just scarpers off down to um, 20 meters to the beach road, flicks into those two bars, comes back, two ice cold bottles two for 100 baht they're normally about 80 baht each 70 baht two cold bottles 100 baht or maybe even cheaper and she's kept the po pocket the change from the bar because they all know each other in that block bangs two on the table she puts the bottle on the edge of the plastic table smack top off and hands him an open bottle perfect woman you hand a guy an open bottle of beer ice cold to keep her <laughs> so there he is sat on the side of the road on a plastic table and chairs with three Thai girls Ning's friends roommates eating chicken and they're eating the squid the dried whatever it is pressed dried squid which smells horrible um, they've got whiskey he's now got two bottles of beer what else can that's perfect only one thing missing i suppose and that would be ning but she's gone off uh, to get drunk <laughs> two minutes later down the road motorbike taxi pulls up ning gets off the back bongo drums those girls have telephoned her and said we've clobbered solomon he's here eating and drinking um where are you and she, She's given up going and getting drunk and she's come back. Why? What's she up to? And she comes over, gives Solomon a sort of pat on the back and a kiss on the cheek and sits down and starts diving into the whiskey and the food with the girls. And then she's giggling with the two, two other girls. So, what's Ning up to? You know what she's up to. She's trying to set Solomon up with a perfect girlfriend that she chooses. Yeah. M. Shapely, pretty, Udon Tani. Ning is having words with M. And Solomon doesn't speak Thai at this point, doesn't really understand, but looking at the body language, this girl M is staring at Solomon and talking to Ning and smiling. You know what's going on. You know what is about to happen yeah indeed but we've got to leave it there because it has to be a cliffhanger a minor cliffhanger so trip to Hat Yai coming up visa run coming up potential new girlfriend coming up 
girl with red hair brought in cold beer. That's a keeper, surely. This episode, Solomon, he won the pool. He's got money. Frozen's gone off. All good. All good. But it's got to be, he's looking for a job, remember? Things are starting to tie together. If you've watched the other series, videos I've done. Remember, Solomon's friend, Simon. Bar job. Thai lady, Thai guy. Where's the Thai guy in this Solomon series? <clears throat> Maybe coming soon. Maybe a connection. See you soon. Take care. Have a great week. Bye for now.